Hello and welcome to ITC Tech Share. I'm Tom Grissom. In this video, I would like to go over some quick tips about how to use touchscreens in our technology enhanced classrooms. Specifically, in this video, we will, be, we will be talking about Screen Sketch, which is available on all Windows 10 computers. But first, a little bit of background. Over the past summer, we installed touchscreens in all College of Education technology enhanced classrooms. These are meant to replace the functionality of our aging smart boards, which are now over 15 years old and are a single point of touch. Our new touchscreen monitors are 10 point multi-touch and allow instructors to digitally annotate sc any screenshot they can take on the instructor station. This is only talking about screen sketch. There are many additional digital inking uh, methods to use within Windows 10. And if you're familiar with the uh, digital inking PowerPoint tools or OneNote, uh, you may be familiar with many other possibilities. And then I will say more about what I mean by one, two, three, four, five in just a moment. So let's get to it. Why use digital ink? At the end of the day, writing, sketching, highlighting, drawing, and annotating are a huge part of the teaching and learning process. And that's a quote from a math and science teacher. And I very much agree. If you're teaching subject like math, subjects like math, science, art, and music, once you use a digital touchscreen, you'll never want to go back to a keyboard-only device. So how do we use uh, digital ink in our technology enhanced classrooms. Well, we're going to be using a program called Screen Sketch, which is part of the Windows Ink workspace. You can see there I just circled the Windows Ink workspace is actually made up of three components. We have sticky notes, we have sketch pad, and we have Screen Sketch. Screen Sketch is the third option down, and whenever you select Screen Sketch, whatever's displayed on your computer screen, it will take a, a snapshot, a screenshot of that, and then provide you digital inking tools for you to draw, highlight, sketch, annotate over the top of that screenshot. So let's go ahead and take a look at a, a common keyboard, and let's find out what is the keyboard shortcut to start Windows Ink Workspace, and specifically Screen Sketch. So Windows key, the letter W, and as typical with Windows 10 keyboard shortcuts, you press the letter w, or the Windows key, hold it down, press the letter W, and then let off both keys, and then also uh, that will bring you into the Windows Ink workspace. Now let me come down here in case you're not familiar with the Windows key. That's this one right here, and I'll often just refer to that as Windows. Some people call it the super key, and then of course the, the letter W right there. So that keyboard combination will quickly take you into Windows Ink workspace. Let's go on to the next slide. Now with just a little bit of tweaking and a separate keyboard combination, we can very quickly take a screenshot of anything on the computer screen and go into screen sketch mode. And whatever's on your screen, whether it's a, a website, whether it's a desire to learn page, uh, whether you're in a, a PDF file, maybe you have your syllabus and you're wanting to highlight or circle, or maybe you're out in Google Earth and you want to do some satellite images or something like that, anything that's on your screen is so easy to annotate using Screen Sketch. So that second, the second secret to this, the second part of this secret, is the Windows key, the letter W, and then tab, tab, enter. Windows key W takes you into Windows Ink workspace, and then tab, tab, enter will take you into Screen Sketch. So let's just go ahead and do that and see what happens. Windows W, you can see right behind my head, that brought up Windows Ink workspace, and then the first option is sticky notes. Whenever I press tab, that takes me to the second option, which is Sketchpad, and then Tab a second time takes me to Screen Sketch, and it took a, a snapshot of the PowerPoint slide, so you're seeing the keyboard here. And whenever I press Enter, that takes me directly into Screen Sketch. I know that I'm in Screen Sketch mode because up here at the, at the very top, you can see, I'll use the highlighter key right here. Let's go ahead and choose this one. But I, ab above this little yellow line right here, that's my screen sketch toolbar and I have all my options and you saw if I click on the first options the pen tool everyone has a drop down menu so I can go out there and change the color if I would like or I have a slider bar here to uh, change the thickness so I can come ahead and go ahead and do that and then once again that one two three four five where I get that from is the Windows key one two three 
four, five. So that's kind of my memory device to remember how to get to screen sketch. And once you do that a few times, it'll go into muscle memory. And no matter what's displayed on your screen, you can take advantage of those teachable moments. You want to go out there and really highlight whatever's on, you know, on your screen and really draw the student's attention. This is a very effective way of doing that. So let me go ahead and get out of this and let's go to the next slide. An alternate method is if, if it's enabled in the lower right corner of the taskbar, you may see a little pin icon. And if you click on that or if you touch that, if you have a touch screen, that will take you into Windows Ink Workspace. And then you can either click on Screen Sketch or touch the Screen Sketch option. And that will take you uh, into that as well. So let's quickly go over the toolbar. These are pretty self-explanatory, but just to let you know what's available. Of course, we have a pen tool. We also have a pencil tool, a highlighter, an eraser, a ruler to draw straight lines. Now, the touch mode is very important if you have a touch screen. You have to invoke or you have to have this highlighted. And if you look, you can see a little line underline underneath the uh, touch mode icon in order to use your finger to draw on a touch screen. You can undo, you can redo, you can go out and uh, crop. You can resume a previous. You can work on a previous uh, screen sketch that you were working on. You can clear all, so I will use this often to erase all ink on the slide if I'm, if, if I'm wanting to do multiple you know, drawings or sketches on, on the same uh, screen sketch. I can save as, and this will save it as a PNG file, a graphic file. Of course, I can copy. I often do this, copy my screen sketch, paste it into OneNote if I want to have a more persistent, permanent example of whatever it is I'm demonstrating to the class. And then I also have a share icon, and of course, the blue X. If I click on that, that will exit screen sketch, or also the escape key will work as well. So once again, to review, Windows key W, tab, tab, enter, one, two, three, four, five. Windows key W, tab, tab, enter, and I'm right there. I can go ahead and annotate whatever it is that I want to do and then hit escape to get out of that. And then finally, as an alternate method, remember if you see the little pin icon in the taskbar, you can always click on that to get to Windows Ink Workspace and then select Screen Sketch from there. Finally, one last tip in all of our, our touch screens, you do have to make sure that you are in touch mode if you're wanting to use a touch screen and use your finger to do the annotations and things. So if you go into Windows Ink Workspace and you use your finger and nothing happens, it's probably because you're not in touch mode. So that's it, just some quick tips. Anything that's on the Instructor Station screen, you can easily you know, annotate, draw over it, sketch, whatever you would like to do. And it's really great and effective method for really drawing the student's attention to whatever, uh, you know, whatever subject you want them to uh, concentrate on. So until next time, and this is Tom Grissom, keep on learning. Music